Good morning. It's me, Mikey Pipes, and Peter. Today is Tuesday, June 28th, 2022. We just left a service call for an estimate. Happens to be a loyal YouTube subscriber. And the woman actually wanted to ask me a question. And he goes, Mike, Mikey Pipes, what do you mean when you say something is tits? Tits, right? <laughs> well, you know the explanation, guys and gals. Turn left on Avenue. So anyway, we're on our way to our next service call. Down the block from where we just were. Got a Hayward pool heater. That's no bueno. Let's see if we can fix her. Stay tuned, guys. Let's get going. Good morning. Well, point me to where the pool heater is. Sure. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. I'm John. Pleasure. Got a Hayward pool heater? Yeah. What's it doing? Well, not heat, it's obviously. Not, yeah, it's not heat. No. Gas or heat pump? Um, honestly, my father-in-law would know that better than I would. All right. He didn't want to come out. He's lazy. Straight ahead? <laughs> yeah, right in the back. It's like slide off to the left in the back of the deck. Okay. Let's see it. To my left. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Oh, nice little pool here. Well, not so little. You got the diving board. To the left. Oh, there it is. Heat pump. Oh, man. Oh, that's not a good news. No. Does it say LP on it? I'm not sure. That's like 10 years. Oh, boy. Let's see. Somebody said the motor for the fan motor. Yeah. It, but I Where's the power for this thing? There it is. Damn, a lot of ear wicks in there. All right, Peter. Hey, word. Let's get that knee pad. I don't hear the compressor. You got it. I'm going to take this front cover off. Let's see. There's your interface board. There's your pressure switch, transformer. There is the cap for the compressor. There's the cap for the fan. And we're leaking something here, water. We're leaking water. So let's get the needle nose and we'll uh, take out this capacitor. And there's the cap. An 80 single. Let's set that to read capacitance. Okay, let's test. One to each. One to each. Let's see what we got. Nada. We have not an effing thing. How about go just point them straight down on it? Nada. Nada? Nada. That's for shits and giggles. We have a 7.5 for the condenser fan motor. So let's see if we have an 80 7.5 dual. All right, so we got the Titan HD installed there's our common and there was the, the two reds were on common off of the old cap which is right here the 80 single right so our two reds are on one side which is common the blue is herm hermetically sealed right and since we have this also in the equation we might as well if we're replacing one we'll take out both give them a dual so i ran the blue sorry the brown which is fan that went there. The yellow, right, went to common on there. So since we're eliminating that, we can get rid of this one. Now we just install a single and we've eliminated two birds with one stone. All right, so there's the Titan the HD right there. We got today's date on it. Everything else is nice and tight. Excellent. Let's put the cover on 
Let's get rid of that extra screw. Put the cover on, fire it up. All right, so here are the two single caps. This was for the capacitor. I'm sorry, this was for the contactor. Yeah, leaking a little bit of oil there. And this was for the condenser fan motor. I'm wondering what this is rated for. Didn't even test it, but also we have some leakage there. All right, so they're both shot, put in the dual. Have a nice day. Let's wait for power cycle. Do you think they're curious on what the uh, condenser fan motor was reading? I think, I think so too. So the 7.5, right? 6.3. So 7.5 minus 7.5. No, 7.5, 10% of 7.5 would be 0.75. So 0 0.75 minus, 7.5 minus 0 0.75. It's over 10%. It's over 10% because we're reading a 6.3. So this would have to be replaced anyway. So even though it worked, it wasn't going to work for much longer. So hence even more reason why we installed the Titan HD made in the USA. Made in the USA. And by the way, I install these now. Why? Because of feedback from the community. Like viewers like you. Thank you. So it's 68 degrees out, 68.7. Temperature of the pool is 70, looks to be about 77 degrees. And I have a jet over here. Yep, I have a jet over here. Now let's just get a temperature reading of that. Not bad. 86, 87, and rising. As the heat pump is on for longer duration, we're getting hotter and hotter temperature. 88.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. It may go to 89. No, 88.6. Not bad. Who can I give a diagnosis to and the estimate? The big guy. Who do I give the diagnosis and estimate of repair to? That would be you? Yes. Okay. You don't have to sit down for this one. It's not, too, it's not terrible. I'm the lucky guy. You're the lucky guy? All right. So uh, you want the... It was like an explanation. You just want the bill? Just a quick... Okay. There is a component which gives the compressor a little extra oomph to start. Uh, I wasn't doing that anymore. Okay. So, it, it, and there's another one just for the fan, because the fan is, is a motor, and technically the compressor is a motor. So there's two pieces? So there's two pieces. So, but ultimately why I'm here is the one for the, the compressor isn't doing it anymore. Basically one of the grandkids, the kids having a nine volt battery in the toys, the battery dies and they're screaming at you, bloody murder. You put a new battery in, they're happy, everyone's happy. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Hey, see, happy wife, happy life. So now, um, with a new part installed, the temperature on the outlet is 88 degrees. And it's, what was it, 76? No, it was 81, or, I forgot, what, I don't know. We, have, we took the temperature of the pool, and it's, it's definitely heating. Um, so I, you know, we could, could have just replaced the one for the compressor, but I don't have a single one, I have a dual. So I put a dual in, and then I checked the one that operates your fan motor, and it was slightly out of range, and probably within the next week or month, it would have died too. We would have been back here because the compressor was running, but the fan wasn't running. <laughs> so I changed, I took out both parts and put in one that does both. So saving you another service call, nuisance call, because it would have been, it would have died in the near future. So basically like nine volt battery, given like seven and a half volts. It's on its way out the door. So I took that out as well. Hey, check the stove. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Any questions? Keep it busy. I hear you. <laughs> uh, no, that sounds pretty Okay. Cool. All right, Peter, what did you think of that little service call with the uh, Hayward Heat Pro? The first pool here I've ever... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I do them all the time. I've never... Not bad. But similar, similar to, you know, when you do service calls with Daniel, you know, the central air conditioning calls, it's identical. Yeah. You know, I heard, you know, the lack of the compressor firing up, and I immediately went to capacitor because that's generally what it is and what was great about you know on you know we left 
a, a service call for an estimate for a Bosch IDS 2.04 four ton heat pump system on the way to this service, you know, before this service call. And I got a text message from my office that the last, the first service call approved the install and go ahead and order the equipment. Um, so stay tuned next week, guys, uh, because it's going to be tits.